Hello, this video is going to show you how to assemble kit number 637134. It's a three-wheel robot kit. First thing we want to do is, as you can see here, you got a number of all the parts in your, uh, in your bag kit. You've got uh, two of these six-inch wheels and one of the four-inch wheels. As you can see here, I've got all the parts laid out, and we're going to jump right in. First thing we're going to do is, as you can see here, you've got three set screw hubs. You've got two six millimeter bore and one quarter inch bore. We're going to grab the quarter inch bore set screw hub, place it in the wheel, grab a 632 by half inch socket head cap screw, put all four of these in like so. Now we're going to tighten these up. Put them all in and then you can go back through and Tighten them up a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the only shaft that's actually in the kit, which is a quarter inch D shaft. I'm going to slide that right through, just like that. And we're actually not going to tighten this, uh, tighten this shaft up quite yet. So next we're going to do is we're going to grab the angle bracket and we're going to go ahead and, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and grab our swivel hub right here, place that right up on top. I'm going to grab our 632 by quarter inch socket head cap screws and we're going to put four of those in. Almost got them here. Get all of them in and then we'll go back through and tighten them up. And we're going to tighten them up here. And double check them here. There we go. Next, we're going to go ahead and take our ball bearing. It should have two of them. These are quarter inch bore flange ball bearings. Put one of them in the side just like so. Grab our wheel. Slip our wheel inside just like this. Run the shaft through the bearing. So through your hub in the wheel just like this. Next what we're going to do is you're going to leave a little bit of the shaft sticking out. I'm going to grab one of these little black quarter inch bore spacers and you're going to have several of the screws and several of the spacers you're going to have several extra left over so just because of the way they're packaged up. Now we're going to grab one of our quarter, one of our two of our, uh, well, we have two of them, but one of our quarter inch set screw collars. Make sure it is aligned on the flat of the shaft and it's flush with the end of the shaft here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. Pull it all the way across. Next we're going to slide on the second ball bearing. Put that in like so. Snap that in. Make sure that this ball bearing is all the way in. Grab another one, another of our quarter inch spacers and that allows this, to, that way the set screw collar does not ride on the race of the bearing, it's actually this little plastic um, spacer does. We're going to line this back up again with the flat and the shaft right here. We'll take that around so you can see here. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Make sure this one is flush as well. Tighten that up. So now obviously your wheel might be off, side, off the side. So now what we're going to do is obviously you can see here our two set screws are actually on the flat. We're going to hold one of them. We're going to rotate this around so we can actually see inside. So now you can see your set screw collar, or excuse me, your set screw hub inside. We're going to make sure our spacing is, our wheel is in the center of the channel. We're going to reach in like this and we're going to tighten this down. Just like that. And this is basically the swivel for the back of our robot. As you can see it runs very smooth on the ball bearings. So next video we'll actually uh, start putting the chassis together. We're now going to start the assembly of the three wheel robot kit. As you can see here the kit comes with two of our pieces of channel here. 
And as you want to expand this kit, the neat thing about the Actobotics line is that you can modify, change this kit with additional parts you can purchase online. So, but we just, we wanted to build this most simple kit that we could to be able to get you up and running. So, so basically you have two pieces of channel. These are the same lengths of channel. And we're going to go ahead and put our motor mounts on. Now, obviously this kit comes with our 32, excuse me, our 37 millimeter across motor mounts. Now obviously you can swap those out after you buy the kit with different motors, to, or excuse me, motor mounts depending on what motors you choose. But these work well with our, our 3 to 12 volt um, gear motors as well as our uh, 12 volt precision gear motors. So we're going to go ahead and mount these on the end. And like I said, you can mount these any particular location. Once you assemble the kit for the first time, you'll quickly see all the different options, mounting options. So we're going to go ahead and bolt these on the end of the channel. Up. Got that one on this end. We're going to go ahead and put the other on the opposite end. Flip this over. Once again, we're going to use our 632 by quarter inch long socket head cap screws. And we're going to go ahead and tighten this one up. There you go. That's what you should have so far. Both motor mounts on. Next, we're going to flip this around and we're going to pick the center point of our channel. So it looks like it's going to be about right here. We're going to grab our, our uh, hub adapter here. Hub spacer, I should say. And we're going to bolt this in right in the middle. You can actually build this chassis with an offset if you wanted to as well, depending on on uh, what your application calls for, what you're wanting to do, and you can easily obviously unbolt everything and bolt it back in a di different configuration. So put these four screws in. Tighten these down. There you go, that's what you should have so far. Next we're going to grab the second frame and obviously you can put this in any orientation or along any, any part of the uh, length of the channel. But we're going to put it right here on the end. Actually, excuse me, let me rotate this around. You could put it that way, but this will, this will give you a little bit longer wheelbase. And we're going to go ahead and bolt this on. Once again, we're grabbing our 632 by quarter inch length socket head cap screws. And let's go ahead and tighten this down. There we go. And that's what you should have so far. Just like that. Next, we're going to bolt our swivel on the back. And that, obviously, like I said before, you can actually bolt this anywhere along the length of the channel. We're going to put it on the far back just to increase the length of our wheelbase. Once again, we're going to grab 632 by quarter inch socket head cap screws. Bolt that on. So, two more. The nice thing about using some of our 3 to 12 volt and precision gear motors is that they have an offset shaft so that way you can kind of vary the height that you want the front of your robot by simply rotating the motors within the motor mount. So now you've got your swivel just like that. So, and you can also adjust how easily this rotates. You can see here, you also have a little, um, you can actually take a small socket head, or excuse me, a, a driver, Allen driver, hex driver, and put it in there. You can actually turn that and it'll actually uh, uh, apply more pressure to the internal balls right here. And so that will uh, uh, tighten up uh, how it swivels. So, and there we go so far. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and depending on the wheels, um, you know, obviously we, this kit is supplied with some of our larger six inch wheels. You can actually uh, use any of our robot wheels with this kit. Um, obviously this kit comes with our one inch bore adapters that allows you to any, any, uh, any device that, or any part that has the one inch bore, you can actually use these and bring it actually down to our half inch bore with our 770 pattern. So next we're going to do is grab our six millimeter bore hubs. Put those in here, line those up, and we're going to grab our 3 8 inch socket head cap screws. Oops. Run those in. Like so. And we'll go ahead and tighten these down here. One more assembly to go. Oops, put it in there straight. There we go. And tighten those down. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach these to the wheels. So, basically, Pretty straightforward. So obviously you've got your number four, excuse me, number six hole. Now obviously these adapters actually have a through hole as well as a tap hole. We're going to line the tap hole with those and we're going to grab our 632 half inch and they're going to go through and then actually screw right in. Put all four of them in here. So come back, tighten them up. And one more assembly to go. That's what you should have so far. One more to go here. Three more screws. Tighten these up. And there you go. Both your wheels are ready to go. And next video, I will show you actually how to install the motors. We're now ready to install the gear motors onto our three wheel robot kit. As you can see here, this is the framework. This is what you should have so far. Swivel in the back, motor mounts mounted. And as I continue to say, you can actually build this kit in many different configurations, but we're just kind of going after the longest wheelbase um, version right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our motors. I grabbed a couple of our 3 to 12 volt uh, gear motors here. We're going to go ahead and put one of the gear motors in. And on this kit right here what you want to do is put it about in line. The nice thing is you can adjust the height of the kit by simply rotating the motors around. So we're going to just start out by putting them just about parallel with the center, sh center line of the channel. So now we can grab our tool here. Tighten that up. we go. Put the other motor in. Same thing. We're going to put it toward the front obviously as well. We could rotate it around the back, but we want to kick this wheelbase out, wheel out as far as we can. Lined up there. Tighten this up. So now we have our, both of our gear motors mounted. Now all we need to do next is actually mount our wheels. And the gear motors have a flat in the shaft. These are six millimeter bore. We've got our six millimeter bore set screw hubs. Slide those all the way on, like so. Grab our tool, reach in there. And I know I always say this, but I can't stress it enough to make sure that you run your set screw down on the flat of the shaft, because if you don't, you stand the chance of marring up the, you know, the surface of your shaft and it's going to be much harder to get your hubs on and off or even your wheels on and off. So I'm going to rotate this around so I can see the flat of the shaft here. 
and mount this other wheel here. There we go. Now we have our kit. These are 168 RPM gear motors. So make this robot go pretty fast. Um, but obviously you have a large uh, a number of choices of different uh, motors to choose, whether it's speed you're after or power. So anyway, there's the assembled kit. You can see here, and it is ready to go. If you have any questions as far as assembly or questions on the kit in general, please email us at tech at servocity.com. And there's your Actobotics kit, 637-134.